Uh, as you might know, there are three MPC blocks in Delta V, the MPC, the MPC Pro, and the MPC Plus. I'd encourage you to get started with a simpler MPC block. And in order to get you started, what I recommend is that you create a simple application uh, model of the process in your Delta V simulator, or your Delta V real system, and actually implement Delta V MPC on that simulated process. In that manner, you don't have to worry about disturbing the real process or upsetting the real process. You're free to make changes, try different things. Uh, you'll find that there's a very good step-by-step -step tutorial in books online on how to implement model predictive control. From there, you can actually, once you get comfortable with implementing there, you can start looking at some small MPC applications that are, will really benefit from MPC control. It's so easy and quick to implement it, have a high return on investments, such applications like dead time dominant loops, just a single in, single out loop that you now control with PID. You can replace that PID with an MPC block, simple MPC block, perform better, or even start out with a small two by two interacting loop application. And you would be amazed at how easily you can implement that and create a good return on investment for your plan. Once you get familiar with it, implementing MPC and become comfortable with it, you'll find that there are many applications in your plant, small MPC application, might take a week or two to implement the solution and will produce $100,000 or $200,000 a year benefit. Don't forget that the single output MPC or MPC Pro or MPC Plus block are free in Delta V, as many as you want without any additional licensing required. Be sure to post your results or even questions that you might have on EE365. Uh, we'd love to see that. If you have questions, I'll be glad to help you with your application.